Why are you studying the whole book when there's chapters that aren't even on the test? Hey, sterile processing professionals, Brandon the Sterile Guy here. And in today's video, I wanna break down the best way to study and pass the CRCST. Not every chapter is actually on the test, so why not prioritize your time and study smarter? And for those of you that are trying to say, why are you encouraging techs to not study the whole book? Slow down for a second. When you were in high school or college, did you go and read the entire textbook for every test? Or did you study the notes and the chapters the professor told you to? There's a reason that HSPA gives you a content outline that tells you what to study. Come on now common sense. I have flashcards and practice exams for every certification for sterile processing. I've helped hundreds of technicians get their certifications, so don't miss out. Do you mind getting to the point? Okay, okay. So each certification has what is called a content outline. Now I have linked the content outline for the CRCST in the description down below so that you can check it out. In this outline, it goes through all the areas that are on the exam, but not just that, it actually weighs the areas by percentage of how much of that area is on the exam. So for instance, if the exam was 100 questions and an area was weighted 10%, 10% of 100, so 10 questions out of that area are on the test. So it basically shows you which areas are most important to study. If an area has like 20% or 30%, you know it's really important. So the CRCST exam is 150 questions, but 25 of those questions do not even count towards your overall score. They're more of research questions for future exams and whatever else they do with that. So your question might be, how many questions right do I need to get to pass the exam? Well, nobody knows that except the test designers. So basically each test, like let's say the CRCST for instance, probably has several versions of the exam. There might be A, B, C, D, E, F, maybe G. There might be up to 10 versions as far as we know. Each version has their own sets of questions. And then those tests might be slightly harder than another version. Does that make sense? Where one version is slightly harder, so the passing score is 90. Where another one is a little bit easier, so the passing score is 95. And what they do to create these tests is they use a statistical method called the ANGOF procedure. And this is also supplemented by the Buke Relative Absolute Compromise Method. Anyways, don't worry about all the statistical gibberish. All you need to understand is at the end of the test, you're gonna get a pass or you're gonna get a fail. But anyways, back to the content outline. All you need to do is take that content outline, compare it with the chapters in the book, and you can get that exact chapters you need to study. In this video, I used the chapters out of the eighth edition manual. Now there's a ninth edition about to come out if it's not out already by the time this video comes up, but I can't imagine that they've actually changed it very much. I'm pretty sure you could still pass the exam pretty easily with the seventh edition at this point. <clears throat> you mind getting to the chapters, please? Okay, I'm just trying to give some context here. All right, the time has come, so here it is. This is the list of chapters that are actually on the CRCST exam. And these are the list of chapters that are not on the CRCST exam. You see there's 10 whole chapters that you don't even have to study when you're studying for this exam. I do recommend, however, though, once you pass that certification, go back and read those 10 chapters and make sure you understand that stuff. This job is very important. There's a lot of science. There's a lot of very important things you need to know to protect patient safety. Follow this advice, get the flashcards and the practice exam, and you'll be ready to pass in no time. Any topics or videos you want to see, please leave them down in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.